Hi everybody and welcome to SA Rugby Magazine. Here with uh, a man that needs to, need to know, introduction, Percy Montgomery. Perce, welcome. Thanks, uh, Keith. Centurion, uh, you've played against the All Blacks many times. And I want to ask you a few questions about that. I got Z, famous Z, or infamous Z. Uh, welcome. Thanks. Let's, I just want to, uh, today's show is sponsored by El Centurion and Percy Montgomery Lager. So, Perce, tell us a little bit of what you're doing and why you're I can see. T I can obviously why you're into the alcohol. <laughs> 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 what brought this about? Oh, jeez, I actually came during COVID. Uh, actually, my girlfriend asked me, Monty, what? Are, we're all sitting at home, stuck, can't go anywhere, and she said to me, Monty, we have to do something. What do you love? And the first thing came to mind, I love tequila. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we started. It wasn't the, your daughter? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, we, and we started the brand, and we actually named it Al Centurion 102. And that was my, I was the first 200 and, and got to 102, two caps for South Africa. And that's where it all came about. So, and we got it, and it's locally made, yeah. uh, which, is, which is great. Yeah. And uh, the Percy Lager is, uh, is um, um, also, it's not a craft beer, it's a premium lager, which is a great beer, it's light. And um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice beer, you'll enjoy it. It doesn't look like it's light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. Every day is a working day. Every day, yeah, I know. <laughs> and um, are you enjoying it? No, it's, 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 a tough, it's a tough market, to be honest, but I am enjoying it. I mean, I'm getting to get back into schoolboy rugby, uh, club rugby, and then get seeing mates again and, and, mm. and try and make a difference, you know. Yeah. And it's a, it's a great uh, collection of tequila. It's, uh, it's a collection brand. Yeah. Of the blanket and Reposada, it's organic and uh, it's good for you and it's longevity. <laughs> well, there's not many reasons I can think that you shouldn't be drinking it, you know. Um, what, what, this is unusual because very seldom that you can get, uh, you know, most spring box like uh, tight as ducks are, you know, they don't buy anybody a pint anywhere. But you're actually giving away two cases of this to two lucky winners and uh, tequila, which is signed by you, yes. to four bottles of tequila to. Uh, uh, for four winners, and the only thing you go to, on SA Rugby Magazine social media page, um, go to SA Rugby Magazine on Facebook, and tell us the name of Percy's uh, tequila, and tell me how many points did Percy score in the 2007 World Cup, and you could, and you could win uh, a bottle of tequila or a case of his beer. I've tested, I've tasted both of them. Pucker, really good. Thanks, Kev. Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for buying people some drinks and bringing them in. No, no problem, man. And and if you if you if you want some more, you can always get on Norman Goodfellas online, and they'll deliver it to your house, which Imagine. is great. Fantastic, fantastic. Listen, let's get into the rugby. We've got we've got a battered New Zealand, um, just pummeled by Ireland and beaten badly by Ireland in, in New Zealand. I I have been the biggest. Uh, voice of Foster should have never gotten the job, um, celebrated when he got the job simply because I knew that it would be a bad time for New Zealand rugby. Not only do you have an unqualified coach coaching the All Blacks, but you have a, 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 you have a pretty average All Black team, in my, in my estimation. So I think, I think the only guy that could have lifted that up is Scott Robinson, and this week Foster steals his uh, ass assistance. Mm. You know, if they had any loyalty, they would have turned the job down. Because there's only one man that's coaching that team right now, and it's Scott Robertson. What do you guys think? Well, I don't like to be too critical. I'll leave that up to you guys. But uh, I agree with you. The only thing I'm scared, I'm worried about yeah. is uh, when the All Blacks have lost a few games. I've only seen them, that happened once when I was still playing, I think in 98. They lost about four or five in a row. Yeah. And, uh, when was that, in 97? 98. 98, 98. 98. Yeah. yeah. When we beat them mm. in you know, that side. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you're on the receiving end, and now we're playing at uh, Null Spate. It's not high felt. And uh, I just I got, you know, just... Strange, strange venue. You, you're playing against the best. The, they were number one in the world. Not, mm. They were there for a reason. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you know, I just, I just, I just hope we, we, we got our, our best team and we focused on that. But uh, I'm a bit worried about this first game. Well, the team's been announced. Uh, it's not a bad team. You got uh, and Kanye, um, Marx, Malherber, Etzebeth, De Jager, Kalisi, Steph De Toy, Jasper Wieser, Faf de Klerk, Pollard, uh, B 
Pimpi, uh, Delande, uh, Lucanio Am, Kurtley Ardensa, and Damien Villensa. And then a pretty tidy bench as well. Is, is, that, is that enough to, I mean, uh, is that enough to upset, is that enough, uh, look, the box are actually favoured in this game, but uh, is that enough to, to, to beat? The, uh, you've, got, you've got your world champs here, it's a bloody strong squad. I'm telling you now, you've got to mm. look at your reserves, the bomb squad basically. Mm. Uh, it's your World Cup Kick, team, yeah, nearly, you know. So, I mean, the these guys are, I, I'm just worried, you know, I'm just, I'm just, my only concern is, you know, when you've lost five games in a row or whatever, how many, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be that complacency mm. or, you know, yeah, you know, we all know the All Blacks. You know, mm. they were number one for for a reason. Yeah, spot you know, on. You're not playing. You're playing the All Blacks, mm. the best team in the world. Everyone wants to play against the All Blacks. You know, mm. you got uh, it's our biggest rival in South Africa. That you know? might that might be a bit of a problem for them because people keep playing the reputation rather than the players. You know, because exactly. um, to me, there's no way the All Blacks can beat the uh, the, the box on uh, on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, you, the, the guys that are coming in to, as assistant coaches and stuff like that, they can't give that, that sort of turnaround um, in such, such a short period of time. And when you look at what's coming off the bench, kids off from Banani, mm. at the Gok, um, uh, uh, to me it spells uh, the All Blacks being in big the Gok. Okay, but I hope you're right, eh? but uh, just, you know, in all spread, it's, low, it's not high altitude, you know, and I hope, I hope there's no complacency, and, uh, you know, I hope no, you're right. I hope I am too. See, what do you think? Uh, I think Percy Montgomery has played more than 100 tests for South Africa. He's <laughs> been in the change room. He knows the mindset of South Africans, especially around the All Blacks, and I think you have to listen to what he's saying there. Where we are in the history of the rivalry between South Africa and New Zealand, I can totally see the other side of the um, argument as well, in the sense that the box are world champions. We are at home. These guys have lost four of their last five games. There's a lot of talk around what the situation is with their coaching setup. And I think... But it's not just the coaching setup. But yeah, so this is what I'm saying though, Kev. I think like if you look back to the Rudolf Strali era and the players that we had involved there, some of those guys went on to win the World Cup with Percy in 2007. Yeah. It wasn't so much about who was picked. It's how that team was put together, what the plan was, and the culture around that side, the way training was conducted. A lot of things impact the, the, the results on, the, on a Saturday and the performance. And so what I'm saying here is that this All Blacks team could probably be great under Razor, but they're not great under Fozzie. No, because you can see that the, 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 the coach has lost them. Yeah. He's lost them. And, yeah. um, or you for know, whatever, whatever the reasons are, because there's stuff going on in their boardroom as well that are probably a little bit of a distraction. But well, the, the, the boardroom quite... And you know I'm controversial, so I'm going to just think they're an arrogant bunch. Mm. For them not to actually just say, okay, Jesus, we fucked this up. We got it so wrong. And bring in uh, the breakdancing 47-year-old. Um, I, I get the feeling the only reason he wasn't appointed was because he's, he's that type of personality that, mm. that they didn't want in it's there. It's possible. It's possible. I, I'll also say, I've been a player. I've been in this situation before. Let's play for the coach. You never know. That turn around. Right. You know, and that's that... Uh, at complacency right. all of a sudden, yeah. you know, when you've got your backs against the wall, yeah. you come out and firing on Saturday, which I hope not. Yeah. You know, was there ever a coach oh. that, you, that, that lost, lost, you lost the team? Well, you don't have to name him, but I mean... Yeah, I've been in that situation quite a few times, you know, yeah. in my career with different coaches. I think we've had about, know, about six national coaches yeah. back, then, back then. But thank God we've got consistency with uh, Jacques and, and Rassi uh, behind the scenes, mm. you know, which is great for mm. South African rugby. Yeah. Mm. Is there anything worse than, than, than the coach losing the players? Yeah, come on. yeah. Then, then it's every man for himself, basically, yeah. you know, and that's not good. That's mm. what you don't want. Yeah? But mm. you know, they're, they're a big enough team to to be able to realise that, mm. and they've got senior players in the team, which mm. will identify and quickly try and resolve this uh, issue they've got. But here's my here's the here's the thing. I think they're going to have a hard time over. I, I, I think the box will absolutely batter them in the in the type in the type five mm. uh, and, and back row. If you look at if you look at the Bulls uh, beating. Did they beat in the semi-finals? No, uh, they went to Leinster, Leinster. And, won and, and um a lot of the, that Leinster team w was in the Ireland setup. Spot on. And if you look at uh, the way Ireland dominated them in in the in the forward play, mm -hmm. you know, the, um, I think uh, you know, no, exactly. and the, the Bulls dominated Leinster. Yeah. And uh, Leinster forwards dominated the the All Blacks. Mm. And we've got better forwards than just the Bulls. Oh, absolutely. So I think it's going to be a, a I just think that, that, that um, 
I just think that it's going to be a buck victory by maybe double digits. <laughs> I'm going. I know the box are going to win, okay? But uh, it's going to be a close one. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, and I think if you can keep a position against All Blacks, then the box will definitely win, you know? And uh, obviously, no mistakes, because you know how the All Blacks with turnovers, yeah. they're, quite, uh, they're quite lethal. But uh, uh, it's all about position against All Blacks. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, the way that I look at this game is that. If these guys are wearing Italian jerseys, I think the mindset would be very different for South Africa getting ready for this week. But Percy's, yeah. we have lost his, his, yeah, sure. But his, <laughs> his reaction to this, to this, to this um, test tells you a lot about the psyche of South African players when they play the All Blacks. We have a lot of respect for them, and for good reason. Yes. They've got a 36% win rate against New Zealand all time. So, I think the biggest threat to South Africa's success this weekend is our mental state about how we address this game. I think we are, we may. We may be giving them too much respect given where they are in the state of All Black Look, history. That, that, that All Black jersey is worth five points. Exactly my point. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly sure. my point. You know, I think, I think if the Oaks went out boozing and they thought they were playing Canada on Saturday, I think we might put no, you know, put a lot the, of points. Don't put the boot into Canada. Well, we've got, we've, I'm just going to put in a little nudge there, Kev. But yeah, look, I think the box will win this. I'm very, very bullish. I, the box have to win this. I, when yeah. the shoe was on the other foot, they put 57 points on us. Yeah. And we can't be like nervous about, oh, well, you know, that's the All Blacks history. We are world champions. These guys are coming to our house. They're in a difficult position. We need to turn that into a solid win. And what that looks like, I don't know. But that's, that's, my, that's, that's my outlook on this game. Yeah, I, I, look, it's, it's like you said, the, the, the shirt's worth, worth 10, uh, five points. Uh, but I, I, the box should win with, with, with a bit of ease and a bit mm. of thing to spare. If we don't, if we don't win, then we're looking again. We're asking all the questions Christians, about the how did how did Ireland beat them so convincingly right. away from home, mm. and we can't beat them here um, because if Ireland was touring South Africa, we wouldn't fear that. N not in the same way, absolutely. Yeah. Percy, am I right? No, you're right. You're right. Um, but the thing is, we've got some senior players back as well, Dwayne and uh, the guys uh, coming back in the mix. Yeah. So that's going to strengthen our, our squad a, quite a quite a quite a bit. You know? Yes. But um, yeah, it's a t it's a good. It's, it's a good a bloody solid, team, it's man. It's a solid team. Like, uh, and I've got no doubt with, uh, I think, Rossi and, and Jock, and they've, they've, they've coached in Ireland, so they know exactly what's going on. They know yeah. where, and the way we play New Zealand is confrontational. You've yeah. got to get on the advantage line. You can't miss your tackles, no mistakes, mm. and, uh, yeah, and just keep position. Mm. I think that's the, that's the key. To Look, I think, I think the game that, that the All Blacks should be, hugely fearful of is the confrontation in, in, uh, in Ellis Park. Mm. Tickets sold out in yeah. one hour. Mm. You know, it's going to be a, a yeah. feeding frenzy. Oh, they've know. already come out and said that they need to win this, this first one. match. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. This, They're yeah. almost, which is, which is by, by default defeat, uh, conceding defeat in the in second the Ellis Park yeah. test. Yeah. 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 So uh, let's, let's, let's go with the scores, guys. <laughs> Percy, you go up first. 29-24 Springboks. Sure, okay. I'm going to go Springboks. Uh, 27, All Blacks, 19. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 31 to 17. Okay. Okay. All Blacks. You hustled us, I'm kidding, man, I'm kidding. 31, 17, uh, spring box, um, with a comfortable, but confrontational win. But either way, enjoy a couple of these after and oh, during okay, and yeah, before. I'm done with this. Okay. Okay, guys. Thanks very much, and Percy. Thanks for thanks, coming. Kev. Thanks, Percy. Thanks, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks, guys.